Does ADHD affect your sex life? How about your sex drive? Hi, I'm Dr. Ari Tuckman. I'm a licensed psychologist, and today I'm gonna to be answering some of the internet's biggest questions on ADHD and sex. Can ADHD actually make sex better? You know what, it actually can. Great sex is about being completely present in the moment, all focused right there, right now on what is happening in that specific moment. If you are really good at dialing into that present moment, then yeah, that can make for a pretty amazing sexual experience, not just for you, but also for your partner. Now, having said that, if you also sometimes find yourself getting distracted away by like scratchy sheets or like, ooh, wait a second, I think I forgot something at work, that can take you out of the present moment. But that's fine, it happens, no big deal. Bring yourself back in, focus on what's happening in the moment, focus on your partner, focus on what it is that you want to do next. Good sex is all about being present in the moment. Just bring yourself back to the moment. How does ADHD affect your sex life? ADHD affects your sex life in lots of ways, potentially. The biggest way is what happens actually before you get to the point of having sex. In other words, how you and your partner kind of get along with each other, right? It's all the ways that a couple has to negotiate and navigate and get things done and collaborate and figure out who's doing what and in what way. If you're not managing your ADHD well, it's harder to kind of take care of all of that stuff and to get to a place that when it comes to being sexual, that you both really want to be there. A lot of having a better sex life is about communicating and being clear about what you each want beforehand, then being in the right frame of mind, being in the right place, to actually want to be there with your partner. So it's a good experience that you guys can both really enjoy and appreciate. And then once you actually get to the sex itself, right, we want it to be a good experience that you're gonna enjoy and your partner is gonna enjoy. You wanna be clear about from moment to moment what it is that you want out of this experience. And you wanna also be clear about what your partner wants. So in other words, Good sex is really about good communication in the moment. So do what you need to do to make it a great experience for both of you. Next question. Does ADHD make it harder to be in a relationship? Maybe. Really, it becomes a matter of, are you managing it well, right? Are you, within yourself, taking responsibility to do the things that you need to do to manage your ADHD more effectively? Are you being a good partner? Also, equally important, is your partner being a good partner? Some of that means understanding ADHD and the ways that it shows up in your relationship, but also we all have things. We all bring stuff to our relationship. In that sense, ADHD is no different than every other part of who you are and who your partner is. But the more that both of you understand ADHD, the more effective you're gonna be in the relationship and the happier you are gonna to be together. Do people with ADHD have a higher or lower sex drive? Obviously, sex drive is not like a core feature of ADHD, but in general, folks with ADHD tend to really be sort of attracted by or pulled by things that are novel, exciting, interesting, stimulating. In that sense, then, it can definitely be a thing that for many people with ADHD, but not all, having a higher interest in sex probably does tend to come along with having ADHD. So in a long-term relationship, having a higher sex drive can be a real positive because it kind of keeps the flame alive, right? It keeps you and your partner connected and enjoying each other, especially in the face of all the boring, responsible things that we need to do. We need to be able to enjoy each other as well. Now, if you find that your sex life and your higher sex drive is actually causing more strife than pleasure in your relationship, then you know that's a thing to think about and to talk to your partner about. Because again, we want this to be a really good thing that adds to your relationship. By the way, what are the most outrageous myths that you've heard about ADHD and sex? Let us know in the comments. Can ADHD medication have an impact on sex? No. And yes, no in that the stimulants are not known to have a specific impact on sexual desire or function. So that's the good news. Now, yes, 
ADHD medication is gonna help you manage all the rest of your daily stresses. It's gonna help you and your partner connect more effectively so that not only do you have more time for sexual encounters, but also maybe more importantly, you have more desire to actually have a sexual encounter with your partner. So if the two of you are managing life better, if you feel more on the same team, you're much more likely to have a positive sexual encounter. Now, having said that, if you find that somehow sex is not the same and you don't enjoy it as much, you wanna to talk to your prescriber about that, maybe change the timing of your sexual encounters relative to when the medication is doing its thing. What tips do you have for ADHD couples who are having trouble in the bedroom? So here's the first thing. What exactly is going on? What exactly is getting in the way? Is it about what's happening in the bedroom itself in that moment? Or is it about what's happening outside of the bedroom and before you get there? This is the time to really think about what it is is going on for you, to be able to talk honestly with your partner about what are you hoping for? What would you like from this experience? Where do you feel like things are getting stuck? And then to ask a whole bunch of really good questions about your partner and what their experience is. What are they hoping for? What is getting in the way for them? And to really try to do this in a non-defensive way to really understand what's going on. Also, by the way, this is not a conversation to be had in bed when everybody's naked. This is a conversation to be had with your clothes on at the kitchen table. Much easier to have a good conversation about this sensitive subject there. Should parents of ADHD teens have a different sex talk? Yeah, kind of, I think you should. Obviously sex is exciting and interesting, especially if you're a teenager, it can really feel exciting and interesting. And if you have a teenager who has ADHD and is pretty impulsive and maybe kind of distracted and maybe tends to sort of leap without looking, then I think you're gonna to need to have a more direct conversation about not just what's exciting and fun and positive about sex, but also potentially what are the risks that they might take on. So to really be intentional about the situations they put themselves into, who it is that they're with, and the choices that they might make in that situation. We want sex and relationships to be a positive experience. So we need to have the conversations that are gonna set our teenagers up for them to actually be those positive experiences. Hey, you made it all the way here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help make a difference, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. You'll support Understood's mission of making sure that the 70 million people with learning and thinking differences, like ADHD and dyslexia, can thrive.